<clears throat> What's up YouTube, this is JB Panther, back with a video, and today's video is actually another Marvel News Update video, and today's video is actually going to be, again, this was all trending on social media last night and stuff like that, and again, I was asleep, so I didn't have time to record a video and all that, but hey, this is what it is, I'm about to just, you know, Again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So, in this article, this comes from The Hollywood Reporter. Captain Marvel 2 uh, is, in is in development and WandaVision writer is going to be writing the script for Captain Marvel 2. And, um, again, we're going to read this article and I'll give you my thoughts about it and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, a sequel to Marvel's billion dollar gross Captain Marvel is officially in the works. The company has tapped rising uh, writer Megan McDonald, a staff writer on the Marvel uh, WandaVision show, to uh, write for the upcoming Captain Marvel 2. Sources says, says that Anna Bowen and Ryan Fleck, who co worked, wor uh, wrote and directed the initial film hit, will not return to, uh, to do the sequel, but they are in talks to remain in the Marvel Universe and direct a possible Disney Plus TV series. Marvel is hoping to find a female maker for Captain Marvel 2 and is eyeing a possible 2022 release. Uh, details of any high-flying take were not revealed, but the new story will move uh, setting from the 90s to the original movie to the present day. Marvel had no comment. Captain Marvel had several writers on it, including Nicole, all these other people, right? And uh, Larson played Captain Marvel, blah, 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 Endgame, okay. <clears throat> Marvel has mostly uh, um on Captain Marvel 2. The Disney section head, uh, Kevin Feige, did tease in San Diego that Captain Marvel 2 will come. Guardian Galaxy 3, Black Panther 2, obviously was, you know, was in development. Guardian Galaxy 3, he really hasn't talked about. We didn't even have time to talk about Captain Marvel 2, by the way. I didn't even have time to talk about the Fantastic Four and mutants and all the stuff from San Diego. Captain Marvel was Marvel's first female-centric movie, proven to be overperformed at the box office, generated $1.1 billion worldwide. McDonald, uh, the new writer with WandaVision, has her first major credit. The upcoming show is a spin-off that will air on Disney+, Plus, bringing Elizabeth Bo Okay, blah, blah, blah. Captain Marvel kick character of Monica Rambeau, now an adult in the comics lore. Rambeau was an uh, interpretation of Captain Marvel. McDonald began the show as a staff writer, then she was promoted to story editor. She is uh, coming to her role, good and fear, bad, dang, and blah, 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 blah. And pretty much, again, <clears throat> again, you guys can read the article and all that. But here's the thing, right? Captain Marvel 2, I'm happy that the movie is in development. And thing is, uh, that's going to be crazy, man, because you're going to have Captain Marvel 2 and Black Panther 2 on the same release date because they said, because um, I think there's four release dates. I think one in February, one in May, uh, July, and October for Marvel. So they're saying the rumor, or at least like the what I've been hearing about is that uh, Deadpool 3, I think maybe Blade, either Deadpool Deadpool 3, Blade, well, Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2, uh, Ant-Man 3, and I think another movie. I forget which one ever it is. But overall, I'm saying, like, so you got a lot of movies coming out in the near future. They're putting out, like, four Marvel movies, which is freaking insane. And that's not even including the Disney Plus TV series. So overall, uh, Captain Marvel 2, I'm happy that she's getting a movie. And here's the thing, right? I like the Cap first Captain Marvel. I'll be honest with you. I think the movie does have its problems because I felt like Captain Marvel, like, she has to really hold her own because Captain Marvel, she's not going to have no Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. You have, she has to come out with a better script. She can't half ass it and BS it like she did with the first one where she, the movie's pretty much saying, okay, she's a white feminist Superman type character, but then when you watch her in Endgame, she doesn't really do anything. Like, she doesn't really... She, she doesn't have a bigger, bigger... The way they pumped her up in Infinity War, you would think she would have a major role in Endgame. Like, she was there in the beginning and end, and now, and then she got knocked out by Thanos. I mean, Ant-Man had more of a role in... Uh, in um, Ant-Man and Wasp was more relevant than Captain Marvel, because at least he thought of the time travel and the quantum realm and all this other stuff. So, in me, in my personal opinion, Captain Marvel, she has to come out with a better script, come out with a better writer, director, and also I want to make sure that, you know... I want, you know, if it's a female director, fine, but I want a female director that actually knows what the hell she's doing. Like, you know, like a female director for Wonder Woman, who actually, she, Patty Jenkins, she knows what she's doing. Get a real female uh, director 
who actually is in love with the comics and source material and actually knows how to make good movies. Because you don't want to just put someone in there who doesn't really have the passion or the will or uh, the lore for the Marvel uh, franchise and stuff like that. And actually um, is actually, you know, capable and qualified for the job. You don't want to just put someone in there just to make a checkbox, you feel me? So I do hope Captain Marvel 2, she holds her own. They don't half ass it and lazy it and just be like, here, here, here. You actually come out with a good script and, a, you know, a better script and not just half ass it and lazy like you did with the first one. So, and it just shows you that she has to hold her own. And I'm really curious about if they're gonna bring in present day, are present day, are they gonna bring Monica Rambeau or like I'm really or maybe uh, the Ultimates? Like I'm really curious, like how they're gonna do it because the problem is if you read Captain Marvel, at least her comics. Cap Carol Danvers, this, at least this one, not the Miss Marvel one. She's only been around for since like 2012, so she doesn't have a lot of source material like that. She's still one of those new Disney type uh, comic book superhero characters. But uh, Black Panther, he's going to be fine because he's got like 50 years of source material. He got the X-Men, the Fant he's connected to X-Men, the Fantastic Four, Storm, Doctor Doom, Namor. Like he's connected to the Avengers. There's so much things that in Wakanda and all that stuff, like, there's so much story, uh, comic book stories that Black Panther is connected to and he's like a vile, char vile character. Captain Marvel, she's, if you read her comics, she's just really with the Avengers and like leading and just doing a lot of you know, fem you know, she talks that feminist girl power talk, whatever. But overall, like, you know, she doesn't have a rose gallery of villains that I know of. You feel me? Like most of her villains are like Avengers villains and that's only when she's with the team leading and stuff like that. But overall she just has to come out with a better script if they're gonna have her as her own standalone film. And I'm really curious of what the box office and the numbers are gonna be because I think her movie will hit a billion dollars. I think the the problem is that, you know, I even see the YouTubers and stuff like that. They're saying, oh, Captain Marvel is going to fall. Captain Marvel 2 is going to flop. I think, like, you know, the Phantom Menace and the Trump supporters and, you know, the people that are really super, super on the right. I think they really underestimate the general public because you got to stand with these Marvel movies. The These Marvel movies are really made for the general public. They're not really made for the hardcore like hardcore hardcore fans but they do take they do keep in mind the hardcore fans in consideration and i do because that's the problem with like the phantom menace song they really underestimate the power of the general audience that's just my personal opinion and when you watch these movies and when you watch the box office it's a huge huge difference and i think they wake up and i do feel like um you know, I, mean, I can understand if you're a hardcore, you know, if you're, you're a Star Wars fan, you're a hardcore Marvel fan, hardcore uh, Star Wars fan, you guys can make the, we can make the argument like, okay, we've been here friends to jump, and then now you're changing it to this and that and this and that to, and this and that to fit a certain agenda. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, a lot of the Marvel fans, not all of them, but a lot of them, they want the diversity, representation, stuff like that. They don't want to just have all 20-plus movies with all white dudes, you feel me? And the general public is the same thing as well. So you have to change it up and make it more diverse and inclusive. And I think you can get a well fit with superheroes. I just feel like with Star Wars, you just can't do it. It's a different type of fan fan base, different type of franchise, different type of concepts. So that's just my personal opinion. So overall, with Marvel, I can understand if you guys were a hardcore fan and they changed it and they kind of just dumped you to the side. I can understand from that point of view. But if you're just going to keep on hating on it, because right now I just see a lot of YouTubers and stuff like that. They're already bashing Captain Marvel 2 and the movie's not even, the movie's just in development. You know what I mean? It hasn't even gone into production yet. And they're already saying, oh, this movie's gonna suck, this movie's gonna suck, this movie's gonna suck, this movie's gonna suck. And I do feel like that type of narrative is not gonna work in phase four, phase five, or even phase six. Because I feel like you've been here for 11 plus years and you know what's going. You know what route they're gonna go with uh, Captain Marvel and all these other characters. They're gonna go more of a, uh, my, uh, a diverse, inclusive, um, movie route and that's just something you guys have to deal with that's just what i'm looking at from the outside in so again capital level two i'm happy that her movie's coming out i'm really curious of what's going to set up for the future is it going to set up like secret invasion dark avengers are they going to create a new avengers like i'm really curious to, like what's it going to set up to be 
for the next upcoming like phase four, phase five uh, movie going forward. And he also said she was going to be the leader of the MCU and all this other stuff, whatever. But hey, we'll see what happens when we watch these movies. That's really it, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Are you guys excited for Captain Marvel 2? Are you not excited? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.